Flowers. There are hundreds of different types of flowers. Most people like roses. Roses grow on bushes and they smell beautiful. You have to be careful that you don't prick your finger on a rose thorn. Roses come in many colors. There are red, pink, yellow, and white roses. In the spring, tulips are in bloom. In Ottawa, there are many tulips. Some people go there just to see all the tulips in the spring. Forget me nots are also spring flowers. They are tiny and blue. Lilies of the valley look like white bells. Where I live, many of the trees have blossoms on them in the springtime. The apple and cherry trees look particularly beautiful when they are in blossom. We have a blossom festival in my town. My neighbors like to plant geraniums, petunias, and marigolds in the summer. Some people plant sunflowers. Sunflowers grow very tall. They have bright yellow petals. All of those flowers grow best in the sunshine. If your garden is shady, you have to plant different things. Hostas grow well in a shady garden. Chrysanthemums are fall flowers. Chrysanthemums come in many colors also. There are purple, yellow, and white chrysanthemums. Flowers are good to give as gifts. Women like to receive a dozen roses on Valentine's Day. Carnations also make a nice gift. They have a very sweet smell. Many people give away lilies for Easter. Poinsettias are very festive at Christmas time. If someone goes to a dance, they often give their partner a flower to wear. Sometimes a girl will get an orchid from her date. If you go to a wedding, you will probably see a lot of flowers there. Flowers help to make places beautiful. The shopping mall. There are many different stores in the shopping mall. There are ladies' wear stores. They sell dresses, blouses, and many kinds of clothes for women. In the men's wear stores, there are suits, ties, shirts, and slacks. There are also clothing stores that appeal just to teenagers. Some clothing stores only sell children's clothes. There is even a store that sells bathing suits and cover-ups for the beach or pool. There are lingerie stores that sell ladies' underwear and nightwear. There are hardware stores that sell tools. There are shoe stores. You buy shoes and boots in a shoe store. There are book stores. You can buy a book on almost any topic at the bookstore. There are stores that sell compact discs. Those stores also have tapes and videos. There are sports stores that sell special shoes and clothes for sports. They also sell sports equipment and T-shirts and hats with the logo of your favorite teams. There are gift stores that sell all kinds of things that someone might want for their house. There are kitchen stores where you can buy utensils and pots and pans. Those kinds of stores also sell aprons and napkins and anything you might need for your kitchen. There is a movie theater at the mall. There is a jewelry store that has a lot of gold and silver jewelry. There is a hairdresser in the mall. Sometimes I go in there to get my hair cut. There are fast food places in the mall. You can get a quick lunch like a hamburger or some French fries. There are also fancier restaurants in the mall. You can sit down for a nice meal. There is a furniture store in the mall. You can buy a new sofa or bed at the furniture store. There are bulk food stores. At a bulk food store, all the foods are in bins. 
you take as much as you want and pay for it at the counter. There is even a telephone store and an electronics store at the mall. My brother's favorite store is the toy store. He could spend hours in there. There are also department stores at the mall. Department stores sell all kinds of things. They sell perfume, clothes, shoes, kitchen utensils, or just about anything you might need. You can get almost anything you want at the shopping mall. Travel It is fun to take a trip to a faraway place. My brother just went to Italy and France. He got on a plane at Toronto Airport. He took a flight to France. He stayed there for a couple of days. He visited the Eiffel Tower. He was in Paris. He said that he enjoyed the food in France. He then traveled to Italy. He saw many towns and villages in Italy. He went to Rome and visited many of the tourist attractions. In Venice, he saw the canals. He tried to speak Italian, but he is not too good at it. He said that the people were very helpful. They tried to understand him. He bought souvenirs for us when he was in Italy. He ate Italian food. He said that pizza in Italy is quite different from the pizza we eat here in Canada. He saw many streets that were made of cobblestones. He saw many old buildings. A lot of people in Italy travel around on scooters. He stayed at a very nice hotel in Italy. He was sorry when it was time to come home. My brother likes to travel. He likes to fly in airplanes. The airlines lost his luggage once. He was not too pleased about that. Next year, he would like to travel to England. The Farm My uncle is a farmer. He lives on a farm. He has many different types of animals. In the barn, there are horses and cows. The cows swish the flies away from themselves with their tails. It sounds very loud if a cow says moo when you are standing there. The cows eat the grass from my uncle's field. He gets milk from the cows. I put a saddle on one of the horses and went for a ride. There are pigs in the pig pen. He has goats. He says that the goats will eat just about anything. He has a chicken coop with chickens in it. The chickens lay eggs. Have you ever seen baby chicks? They are very cute. My uncle collects the eggs every morning. There is a rooster, too. The rooster crows when the sun comes up. My uncle also has a goose. The goose makes a honking noise. I don't think that the goose likes me. It nips me when I go near it. Many cats live in my uncle's barn. They are stray cats, but he lets them stay there because they keep the mice away. My uncle feeds the cats. My uncle says that he would like to get some sheep for his farm. You can get wool from sheep. There are a lot of animals on my uncle's farm. Transportation Every family that I know has at least one car. Some families have two or even three cars. Most people get their license to drive when they are 16. In my house, we just have one car. If my father takes the car to work, my mother will take the bus. I ride in a school bus to school. My sister works in another town. She gets on the train to go to work. 
The train station is not far from my house. The train tracks run right by my house. My grandfather from Ireland comes to visit us. He came over by boat. He had to cross the ocean. We went to Florida last year. We flew on a plane. The plane flew right through the clouds. My friend's brother drives a motorcycle. He wears a helmet. I rode on his motorcycle once. I had to sit on the back and hold on tight. I ride my bicycle when the weather is nice. I also have a scooter that I use to travel around. I took a helicopter ride once. The helicopter's propellers were going around when I got on. I went straight up in the air. I enjoyed the ride. I would like to learn how to fly a plane or a helicopter. I like flying through the air. Holidays. In Canada, we have many different days that we celebrate. On the first day of January, there is New Year's Day. That is when we ring in the new year and say goodbye to the old year. In February, there is Valentine's Day. That is the day when you tell your girlfriend or boyfriend that you love them. You can buy them flowers or candy or take them out to dinner. In March, there is St. Patrick's Day. Everyone pretends that they are Irish on St. Patrick's Day. They all wear green. Easter comes in the spring. Easter is a religious holiday. Some people celebrate by going to church. Some people think that the Easter bunny comes and leaves chocolate eggs for them. In May, there is Victoria Day. We celebrate this day in honor of England's Queen Victoria. There are fireworks on Victoria Day. July the 1st is Canada Day. In September, there is Labor Day. This is the day that we honor the working man or woman. In October, there is Thanksgiving. We give thanks for all the things that we are fortunate enough to have. We usually have a turkey dinner on Thanksgiving Day. On the last day of October, there is Halloween. The children dress up in costumes and go from door to door collecting candies. Remembrance Day is in November. People wear red poppies and they remember all the people that died for their country. Christmas comes in December. Christmas is also a religious holiday, but many children believe that Santa Claus arrives on Christmas Eve in a sleigh pulled by reindeer. They believe that Santa Claus fills up their stockings with toys and goodies. He gets in and out of people's houses through their chimneys. We don't get off work or school for all these days, but many of them are holidays from work and school. Diseases There are many diseases. Some diseases are very deadly, and some are not so serious. Most people catch a cold sometimes. A cold makes you cough and sneeze. Colds can be passed on from person to person. Some people get the flu. With the flu, you get chills and a fever. A fever is a high temperature. If you have the flu, you will feel very bad. You have to stay home in bed. There are diseases that children get. The mumps make you have lumps in your neck. Chicken pox and measles leave you with red itchy dots on your skin. Older people sometimes get arthritis. Their bones get stiff and sore. There are people who get heart disease. In many cases, a healthy lifestyle can prevent heart disease. Cancer can attack different parts of the body. Many smokers get lung cancer. 
Some diseases are treated with pills or medicine. Other diseases need to be treated in the hospital. Sometimes doctors need to give you tests to find out what kind of disease you have. The doctor might have to do a blood test or an x-ray to find out what is wrong with you. Most diseases can be cured by a doctor. Jobs There are many different jobs that you can choose from. You can be a doctor or a nurse. You could work in a hospital or doctor's office. You might be a firefighter and put out fires. A policeman enforces the law. An actor plays roles on stage or in the movies. You could drive a taxi or be the pilot of an airplane. What kinds of things do you like to do? You might want to be a sales clerk in a store. Maybe you are good at a sport. You could be a baseball player or a hockey player. Being a dentist is a good job. A dentist fixes teeth. If you are good at arguing, you might want to be a lawyer. Do you like to fix people's hair? You could be a hairdresser or a barber. If you are good with your hands, you might want to be a carpenter or a mechanic. If you like to travel, you could be a stewardess or a travel agent. You could be a teacher or a photographer. Are you artistic or creative? You might want to be an artist or a writer. You could work on construction and build houses. You could look after animals and be a veterinarian. If you like to cook, you could be a cook or a chef. There are so many places to work and so many jobs to do. Maybe you could fix computers or work in a library. You could wash windows or be the captain of a ship. There is no limit to what you can be. My body. On the top of my head, I have hair. Below my hair is my face. I have two eyes. I have eyebrows and eyelashes. Below my eyes, I have a nose. My mouth is below my nose. I have lips. If I open my lips, you will see my teeth and my tongue. Below my mouth is my chin. On the sides of my head, I have two ears. My cheeks are on either side of my nose. My neck holds up my head. My neck attaches my head to my chest. On either side of my chest are my shoulders. My arms hang down from my shoulders. I have wrists on my arms. My hands are attached to my wrists. My fingers are part of my hands. I have ten fingers and ten fingernails. My back is at the back of me. Further down there is my waist. If I wear a belt, I put it on my waist. My hips are below my waist. My legs come down from my hips. My legs are made up of my thighs, my knees, and my calves. My knees can bend. My ankles are below my legs. My feet are attached to my ankles. My toes are part of my feet. I have ten toes and ten toenails. I am me from the top of my head to the tip of my toes. Clothing I change my clothes a lot. If I am going somewhere fancy, I wear a dress. I wear stockings on my legs and I wear a pair of nice shoes. 
If I am going to play sports, I wear a sweatshirt and jeans. If I am going to the beach, I wear a bathing suit or a bikini. My brother wears swimming trunks to the beach. At work, I wear a skirt and a blouse. Underneath my clothes, I wear underwear. A lady wears a bra and panties as underwear. A man wears boxer or jockey shorts as underwear. Today, I am wearing a blouse and a pair of jeans over my underwear. I have socks and shoes on my feet. In the summer, I often wear sandals on my feet. In the summer, the tops that I wear are usually sleeveless. I usually wear shorts in the summer. Sometimes I wear a sweater or a jacket if the weather is cool. I wear a cap or a hat on my head. I wear a belt to hold up my jeans or my slacks. Women sometimes wear a dress or a skirt. Men wear a pair of slacks and a shirt. Some men wear a suit and a shirt and tie. If it is very cold outside, I wear a winter coat. If it is cold, I like to wear gloves or mittens on my hands. Sometimes I wrap a scarf around my neck to keep warm. I wear a toque on my head in cold weather. I wear boots on my feet in the winter. If it is raining, I wear a raincoat. The way that I dress depends a lot on the weather.